What is going on everyone? My name is Mackenzie. I got a blue 54 F1 pickup behind me. This thing is tricked out. We're here at LaFontaine Classic Cars. We're going to take this puppy for a ride, show you around it. And in case you're wondering, this ride is for sale. All right, we're going to jump in right in the front end. This thing is gorgeous from every angle. I love all of the chrome and bright work on these. This grill is ridiculous. That you know, it's got a V8 up front. Um, gorgeous headlamps, nice chrome on the bumper. These frame rails poking out look incredibly straight. No signs of any repair like it's ever been hit. Very, very well done truck. Um, I'm gonna pop the hood. It's a two part latch. All right, we've got our prop rod right here. Just like that. All right, so up under the hood, this thing is packing a whole lot more than a little flathead. This is a 351. You notice we got good looking aluminum intake manifold, nice holly carb, Ford Racing chrome valve covers, um, stock style manifolds. This one is fitted with a vintage air conditioning. That compressor is right down low, right below that alternator. We've got power steering, and you're not gonna find the power brake booster under the hood. It's a pretty trick setup. It's actually mounted right under the, uh, the floor pan. But nice detail, big, beautiful radiator, and this one actually has an electric fan on it, um, keeping this thing cool. When you're sitting still uh, in traffic and can't have the RPMs up, that is gonna take care of everything for you. I see new bump stops, nice new hardware. These are steel fenders all the way around these trucks. Making our way down the side of this car, these things have so much curvature to them, it's crazy. The fitment to get it like this, I mean, your hood's coming here, your fender's sweeping here, and dipping. Um, the fitment is really, really notable. Um, even on this filler panel here, our cowl, the hood the rest of the way around, really a knockout job. And these are steel fenders all the way around this truck, which is cool. Now, check out our steelies downstairs. That's a 15 inch paint match steely with a little Ford dog dish cap. We got some beauty rings in there. And this is a 225-75-15 Firestone radial tire. And that white line really sets this thing off. Our chrome work on the badges is incredible. Chrome work on the mirror, oh my goodness. Uh, this looks like new seals out here, new felts. Let's see if we got new seals in here. This door opens effortlessly is the word. Um, yeah, we got new seals throughout. Um, even around your window cranks and door latch, we got new seals. Everything looks tight in here. We'll check out the interior a little closer in a minute. Poo! Gas fill right down here. Locking cap. Pretty trick, pretty trick. Good definition all around this cab. This bed we'll get to. I can't wait to get to that. It looks really cool. Um, rear flares look sweet. I think this is about a six foot bed. Um, it's a square setup as far as the tire goes. It's a 225, 75, 15 Firestone. I take a step back with me. Um, I don't know if the camera can catch it. The tops of these bedsides, the top of this tailgate, there's no dents, there's no dings. That is impressive, especially for a 54 pickup. Um, love the white lettering on the back of the tailgate here. And that wood grain in there. Love the wood beds. This one's done to a high level. Kudos, kudos. Now this tailgate's a little bit trick. They updated it, a nice little off the shelf part. Gets you some pins and some latches instead of always undoing your chain, flopping a lever around. And I'll show you guys how this works. We're gonna push both of those in. And just like this. Now, notice we got stainless at the edge. So you're not going to be splintering your wood whether if you if you decide to use this bed. And let's see if we can't get this going. Okay, so we're going to get that started. Pretty sweet. Holds that in there nice and firm. There's a two-inch receiver right right down there in the bumper. 
and we have a dual exhaust, one exiting on either side of that hitch. Pretty neato. Um, one thing you might not have noticed yet, flushed in to the bed rail here, we've got additional brake lights, pretty cool. And then our, uh, our factory ones right down there. Uh, I'm noticing chrome plated bracket, stainless steel hardware, top notch stuff, you, even a really tidy wire loom coming out of the back of that. Passenger side, nothing I don't like. Looks like they knocked it out of the park over here as well. Door fits really great. That big rear glass window looks nice. Nice detail, nice detail. And this door opens pretty dang flawlessly too. We'll show you guys the interior in just a second. We're gonna take a real deep dive here once we hit the road and I'll show you the function of all this. But I dig these trucks that are done up. They don't lose touch with their original heritage. The interior looks pretty stock, even though we've got power brakes, AC, and of course, even the, the digital gauges. How trick is that? Um, tilt column. We got wipers. We got our vintage air control. And then downstairs here, that is where our head unit is at. This thing's got aux, AM, FM, can even take a CD. And I'll climb up in here with you. Oh, what's our radio coming to life? Non individual's problem. Right on. A little ashtray here. And our glove box. Original owner's manual. And the tag. And you could probably work the radio with that remote right there. Cool. Seat's very comfortable. We'll take this thing for a spin. We'll move the wheel out of the way so you can check out how we start this up. Key right here. Everything powers up. And we have a push button just like this. How cool is that? And it's nighttime. Boom! Those are bad ass. Love it. Right, put this thing back down where we like it. Shipper feels good. My mirrors are right. Oh yeah. And I know I've already said it, but these old pick em ups, just updated tastefully like this, are right up my alley. It's still like a stock feel. Looks pretty stock on the outside, but life is good in here, that's for sure. Blinker on. I see my little arrow lighting up on the dash. Oh, it cancels off on its own. Uh, speedo is working. RPM gate is working. Fuel. Coolant temp. Voltmeter. Everything is working good. I love that. Coming to a stop. The brakes feel good. Um, no vibration in the pedal. And let's see what this 351's got. This puppy is dialed in. Um, shift seamlessly. Plenty of power for a truck like this. Um, I'm not sure what they're rated at, but it feels like it's probably around 300 or something horsepower. Sounds exquisite as well. Now, coming to a stop sign. Um, no pull out of the wheel. So brakes are grabbing at the same time, and the alignment is rather good, I'd say.
appreciate you made it to the end. A couple of things to share before we wrap it up. I've got a hundred plus pictures of this car, this pick em up on our website and I'll put a link right down in the description. Um, give that a click. Our phone number's down there, our email. Uh, like and subscribe. We get probably about 30 new cars a month so the inventory is changing often. If you like this, check out our other uh, rides on the website and our other videos, of course. Thank you. It has been my pleasure. We'll see you in the next one.